This video is about how to access the battery on a 98 Chrysler Concorde. This is the one with the 2.7 liter. This one's notorious amongst battery people or people that do a lot of batteries because of its unique location. You'll notice when it has a battery jump start terminal such as this, battery access is going to be difficult, such as the case here. Um, where the battery is located is it's in front of the passenger side tire beneath the air filter housing. The first thing you want to do is loosen the clamp and then unbuckle the two buckles on the front here. Once you do that, as this has been staged, you're able to pull this out. You set that aside. I've already set the air filter aside, otherwise you just pull it out of there. You pull up on this clamp or rubber bushing here. Once it pulls up, then you'll be able to pull this out. I also like to take uh, the resonance box out from the intake. You pull the pin out here either with a flathead screwdriver or I like to use a rounded pair of needle nose pliers. You're able to just pinch the very tip of that pin and pull it out. Once you do that you can set it aside or just pull it off. That's even better. And uh, as this is up the next thing you do is you just pull it straight toward the engine block then you're able to set it aside. You can see there's a gaping open hole here uh, that doesn't just happen. Underneath in the wheel well once you've pulled the tire off the wheel you're able to pull these. These are all little uh, quarter inch heads on these little screws. Uh, is looking at it there's five of them that you need to pull once you do that, you pull the cover out through the engine compartment. That's why it's nice to have the resonation box off, is you're able to pull that out through the top. The next thing you want to do is there's a couple of 10 millimeter bolts that hold a bracket. I've already removed the bracket, but it fishes down in through here. You have a 10 millimeter bolt there, and another one on the other side here. Once you pull those, you're able to pull that off and begin working on getting the cables off. Positive cable is the one that's to the closest to the wheel. Um, I pull that one off first. Normally you pull a negative battery cable first because there's less risk. As you go to pull this off, apparently we have an alarm on this one. <laughs> As you go to pull this off, if you have a wrench that's making contact with that bolt, or nut and then you touch it onto the body surface that is open it can actually arc and uh, create damage to the vehicle so as you remove this one removing it positive first so that you can slide the battery to even get to the negative it's important that you mind where your wrench is as it's in contact with that nut so you pull the battery out a little bit and you'll be able to access the negative cable to remove it and then you pull the battery out through the wheel well I hope this video has been helpful to you. <laughs> if you uh, found it helpful, uh, you can help me by rating it five stars. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe or favorite this vehicle video. <laughs> I got vehicle on the brain. <laughs> uh, be sure to favorite or subscribe to this video if you'd like to learn more about cars or be able to access it easily later. Thanks.